Welcome to the W3 Schools CSS Selector tutorial. CSS selectors allow you to select and style HTML elements. Selectors are used to find elements based on their ID, classes, types, attributes, values of attributes, and much more. Let's go through the most common selectors. The element selector selects elements based on the element name. This is the CSS selector. It is set to P. That means it will select all P elements on the page, like these. So it styles all P elements to be center aligned and have a red color. But if we add another element that is not a P element, it will not be affected by the style. See, this div element was not affected by the style. The ID selector uses the ID attribute of an HTML element to find the specific element. An ID should be unique within a page, so you should use the ID selector when you want to find a single unique element. To find an element with a specific ID, use a hash character followed by the ID of the element. So this style rule will be applied to the HTML element with ID equals para1. If we add an ID to the second element and change the selector to match the new ID, the other element will be affected by the style, like this. The class selector finds element with a specific class, set by the HTML class attribute. To select elements with a specific class, use a period character followed by the name of the class. So this style will be applied to HTML elements with class equals center. Or you can specify that only specific HTML elements should be affected by a class by including the element name. So if we set p period center, only p elements with class equals center will be affected. Like this. You can also add multiple classes to an element. So if we create a separate style row for color, see now we have a style rule for center and a style rule for color, and remove the element selector and add a second class to the h1 element. You see both elements are affected by the center style rule but only the h1 is affected by the color style rule since it has class equal center and color. In style sheets there are often elements using the same style. For example here we have the same style for the h1, h2 and p element. To minimize the code, you can group selectors. To group selectors, separate each selector with a comma. Here we have grouped selectors for h1, h2 and p elements. So the style is applied to h1, h2 and p elements. This works with all kinds of selectors. So if we remove the h2 and p element selectors and add an id to the p element so we can group selectors for h1 and elements with id para1.
So this works with any kind of selector, element selectors, ID selectors, class selector, or any other selector. This concludes our tutorial for CSS selectors. Thank you for watching.